What's up? How you doing? This is the Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest taste. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, all at one word, the Vinyl Casket, where you can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is the Vinyl Casket. We're back. Uh, I've been gone for, I want to say, like almost three weeks now. I uh, haven't really been able to make videos. Uh, I went away to Disney World and Universal. Um, so there might be some Disney-themed videos coming. So if you're watching right now and you're in the comments, you want to get in the comments, you're nervous, get in the comments. Uh, are there any video suggestions that you want me to talk about that aren't trailer reactions, comic book reviews, book reviews, or movie and TV reviews? Uh, let me know. Um one of these might be me commenting on my opinion on the goofy change. Um, but that's not what we're going to talk about right now. Um, we're going to be talking about a DC comic that came out September, I believe, 8th or 4th. September 4th? September 4th, 2024. Um... The, on the DC's black label and I read it on the DC um the DC infinite app Infi DC universe infinite app um I don't know why it was able to come out because it's currently September 28th uh it came out and usually it's a month behind I checked it out and I love this so I haven't been able to do a lot of comic content which has made me kind of upset uh if you don't know I Recently, uh, probably around March or April, I stopped reading DC and Marvel physical singles. Um, I also stopped buying books weekly. I only get indies, and I only get them uh, at the end of each month. Uh, and then as I finish them, I review them and pick up the stuff. Um I don't know why this number keeps calling me. Um, but before I talk about that, which is going to be, boom, this, Plastic Man No More, issue one, uh, I did get stickers, make stickers with my logo. Uh, there's some test prototype stuff, clear, white background, glossy, matte, I'm working on it, so... Got stickers now. That's cool. Really wanted to talk about that. But I really want to talk about Plastic Man No More. So I'd seen solicitation for this. Um, and I was like, oh, that sucks. I can't look at this. Like, I'm not buying single issues. Um, I don't want to look at this. I, I can't look at this. Um, and then when I saw it was being written by Cantwell, I was like, oh, I need... <coughs> Excuse me. I need to stay away from this. Because... It's going to make me really want to buy this physical. Um, and that's right now a financial no-no. Which is why I have the two comic apps for Marvel and DC. So when I saw it was on there, I was like, oh, I, I got to read this like now. Like I, I, I can't hold off anymore. And when I tell you this is the least disappointing decision I've ever made, I'm not exaggerating. Um, artwork off the bat phenomenal writing phenomenal the story the angle the way it's presented is so good um, I'm a big fan of Plastic Man um, and I think he's a very underused and underappreciated character in the current landscape of DC um, and I think the way they formulated like where this kind of sits in like black label meaning it can really be anywhere it doesn't need to pay attention to what's going on in the current universe or any of that so it fits it does its thing it makes its humor happen and it's very it feels like a very welcoming warm environment like it you, you don't need to know what's really going on or what time period it takes place or any of that. It just kind of, if you know a little bit about Plastic Man and you know about like the regular main core Justice League kind of stuff, it just kind of works. It's meshed. It works. It's beautiful. R the story here is basically Plastic Man gets hit with this, this death beam 
and everyone thinks he's okay, and he's like, I don't think I'm okay, and everyone's like, yeah, whatever, and ignoring him because he's this goofy, silly character, but he's actually going through it, and that was really interesting. You also get to see a little bit of his origin story, how he was a criminal, and how he has a family, and how he, like he's trying to do good and support his family, but like he kind of can't. Um, the fact that like being a superhero instead of a villain has kind of t- been a big rift between him and his family life. Um, and it's coming to like this situation. It's creating a very big situation, like his origin, his personal life, him trying to be a superhero, no one taking him serious, him going through this, this devastating condition that no one is taking serious or paying attention to. It's a really interesting concept for a very interesting character and i think it's the perfect perfect topic for a black label book and i think issue one was executed perfectly uh i loved it i thought it looked good read good and was just full of substance <clears throat> and yeah if i had to rate it I used to read my books out of 10, my comic books out of 10. I would give this a 9.6. I think this is a perfect read. I'm very interested to see how this translates throughout the series, because I'm believing it's probably a mini series, probably six issues, five issues maybe. Um, and then it's Black Label will be conducted in a very nice, probably oversized format. Really cool. And I think this would be a... I want it to be a good run because I feel like this is a perfect read through, like a, a binge read, trade paperback, ready to go. Uh, hopefully, if the story continues on this trajectory. With that being said, guys, I was very excited to talk about comics for once on this channel. Uh, check out Plastic Man No More. Uh, issue one, I believe issue two is coming out. Um, I can look that up right here. Why is scrolling down? Um. Oh, I passed it. Sorry. Uh, October 2nd. So, uh, this upcoming Wednesday. Um, this upcoming Wednesday, we get to see Plastic Man No More Issue 2. I'll let you guys know if it goes to the app right away, because if it does, I will read it first day. But I don't believe it will. But, guys, get in the comments. Let's talk about it. This is the Vinyl Casket. Home to Limit this Taste. And stickers. Um, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, all one word, where you can like, uh, <laughs> where you can subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell for much, much more. Um, and do me a massive favor and stay lame.